Now, before you start doing this question, I would strongly encourage you to draw a sketch, something like this, where we've got the particle P of mass m kilograms, and it's moving with a speed of six meters per second before it hits this fixed wall. And we're told then that in the impact, the kinetic energy lost equals 64 joules, and the coefficient of restitution, which I've called E, is equal to a third. And we've got to show that the mass of the particle P, M, equals 4. So how do we do a problem like this? Well, assuming you've drawn a sketch like this, I'd want to add to this the fact that when it hits the wall after impact, it's going to be moving back in the towards the left with a speed of V. So we'll, we'll start by marking in here after impact. And after impact, then, it's going to be moving towards the left here. And what would this speed, let's say V, equal? Well, we should know that if a particle hits a wall, or fixed object, okay, which doesn't move, and it's moving initially with a velocity of U, then when it hits the wall, it returns back with U times the coefficient of restitution, UE. Now, if you're not familiar with this result, I'll show you how to prove it at the end. Okay? So, on that basis then, what we've got here is that if E equals a third, then this particle was moving with a speed of 6, first of all. Coefficient of restitution is a third, so it would be 6 times a third, which ends up equaling 2. 2 meters per second is the speed that it's going to move after hitting the wall. Now that we've done this, we're in a good position to find out what m is, because we can just return now to the kinetic energy lost. So, since the kinetic energy lost, let's just write it in here, equals the kinetic energy before the impact, okay, minus the kinetic energy after the impact, we can make up an equation now. Because the kinetic energy lost, we know, is 64 joules, and kinetic energy before, well, kinetic energy just generally is a half mv squared, so it'd be a half m times v squared, being the initial speed here. So that'd be 6 squared. Okay, minus half m times the speed after impact. So that'd be 2, and it's 2 squared. So therefore, all we need to do now is just tidy this up. Half m times 36 here is going to be 18m. And then half m times 4, that's going to be 2m. So therefore, we've got 64 equals... 18m take 2m, which is 16m, and we can divide both sides by 16 and get that m equals 64 divided by 16, which gives us m equals 4, as we had to show. Okay, well, I hope this gives you some idea how to do that, but I did say that I'd show you this result. So let's say that we remove the UE, okay? And we'll put this just as V. Now, E, the coefficient of restitution, is equal to the ratio of the relative speed after impact to the relative speed before impact. Well, the relative speed after impact will be simply V. We know the wall stays stationary, okay? So it will be V take away zero. And we compare this to the relative speed before impact. And that will be u take away zero. So when you compare these two, you've got that e equals v over u. So multiply both sides by u, and you end up with v equals u times e. So that's why 
we should remember this result that when something is moving with a speed of u before it hits the wall it bounces back with a speed of u e All right and that's what i used up here just saves time okay